Hi, I'm Phil. Welcome to another MediaTek Labs LinkIt tutorial. For more video tutorials, technical content, and our active developer forum, please register at labs.mediatek.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the LinkIt One hardware development kit with a sensor plus uploading the sensor data to the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox through a Wi Fi network. For that, I'm going to use our smart greenhouse. This smart greenhouse has a moisture level sensor, which is placed into this flower pot and reads out the moisture level of this plant. It is connected to the Linked One board through a growth connector. This growth connector is based on this uh, base shield and then plugged onto the Linked One board. This is all we need in terms of hardware, so let's have a look at the code. We start our Arduino IDE, and first thing, we define where the sensor is connected to the board. So this is on the A2 pin. The Linkit one already comes with libraries that support Wi-Fi connectivity. So we have to include those into our sketch. So we include lwifi.h and lwifi-client.h. These will help us establish a Wi-Fi connectivity and also a Wi-Fi client to connect over TCP IP. We also need the HTTP client. This is needed for the connection to the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox. You will find this file on the tutorials on the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox site. We then define the site URL, which is api.mediatek.com. We have to define the Wi-Fi SSID, the Wi-Fi password, and the Wi-Fi authentication method. After that, we create the Wi-Fi client, and we call it content. And also, we create an HTTP client, which is wrapped around the Wi-Fi client. As every Arduino sketch, we will have a setup function and a loop function. The setup function is called once, the loop function will be called endlessly. So let's have a look at the setup function. First, we establish the connection with our serial port so we can print out information onto our serial port for debugging purposes. We do that by calling serial.begin. Next thing is, we have to establish the connection to our Wi-Fi network. We do that by calling wifi, lwifi.connect. We pass along the SSID, the password, and the authentication method. This connect function will give us back 0 or 1, true or false, if the Wi-Fi wi connection was established successfully. If not, we will wait for one second. So this is done by delay 1000. 1000 stands for the milliseconds we're waiting, so one second. And so that we know that something is going on, we print out a dot onto the serial console. And we do that until we successfully establish a Wi-Fi connection. And we then print it out to the serial console again. So this is all we need to do for setting up our Wi-Fi connection. Let's go to the loop function. The loop looks pretty easy as well. It's just one function we're calling, check soil moisture. So let's have a look what we're doing in there. In there, we're reading out the moisture level of the flower pot. We do that by calling analog read, and then the pin we have the sensor connected to. We store it in this int value, moisture sensor value. Again, we print it out to our serial port so we can see what's going on. And after that, we want to upload this value to our MediaTek Cloud Sandbox. We do that by calling upload to MCS, and then we pass along the moisture sensor value. So let's have a look at the upload to MCS. 
this looks pretty empty so far. All the only thing we're doing is we, uh, with our Wi-Fi client, we are connecting to the site, but nothing else. Because first we have to create a, a device in the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox so we can then upload exactly to the correct data channel. So let's head over to the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox to create the device. Once you're logged in with your Labs account, you then can go to Development. And in Development, we create a new prototype. We name the prototype Greenhouse. Prototype version is the first one. Hardware platform is the Linkit one. And the industry is others. The application is others as well. This is all we need to do. So we save our prototype. And we press details to start setting up our different data channels. So once we entered the configuration tool, we see we can add data channels. So we add one. We want to add a display channel because we want to display the moisture level of the flower pot. So let's add one. We name it moisture. We can then also choose a data channel ID this shouldn't be too long, so I just used the first three letters of moisture. And then it will be an integer value. There are predefined unit types, but we don't have one for moisture. So I just choose not available and I save that. So now we successfully created our prototype. So this is a model which we then can create real devices with. And this is exactly what the one you're going to do now. We create a test device. We name this Greenhouse 1. We press OK. It successfully creates it and we go to the details. Now this real device has a unique device ID and a device key. These are necessary for uploading to exactly this device. And then we have also the moisture and the data channel ID MOI. So we know when we want to upload to this data channel, we, we need to use this data channel ID. Normally, this can be quite complicated to create the correct HTTP request to upload data. But MediaTek Cloud Sandbox makes it very easy to get it all correct because you can press this little icon here and press on API hint. This will bring up the source code for different languages to upload to exactly this device and this data channel. We have it for Arduino, Telnet, jQuery and Angular. So we use the Arduino one and because we already have the HTTP client established at the Wi-Fi client, we can just copy it from here, from content. We select the whole source code, we copy it, and we go back to our Arduino sketch, and we paste it in here. There are some lines we have to comment out. And we also have to change this data string. Currently, it's an example. So we see the MOI, which is our data channel ID but it also has a fixed value. We don't want a fixed value. We want our, the value we read out from the sensor. So this value is passed into the function with int value. So now we have to attach that to our data string. So we wrap it into a string and add it to the data string. And that's it. That's all we need to do. Now we can upload it to our Linkit1 board and it will upload the readouts from the sensor directly to our data channel online on the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox. So let's do that now. We hit upload. It will compile here locally on my computer 
and then upload through the micro USB cable to the board. And once it's running there, it will establish a connection to the Wi-Fi network and read out the moisture level with the sensor and then upload it to the cloud sandbox. So now we open our serial port and we see it's connecting to the access point and it connected successfully to our access point and it already read out the moisture level. So it's 500 and it also uploaded it to our MediaTek Cloud Sandbox. So let's head over there to see if the data is arriving. There we go, the value 500 just arrived. And if we go to show history, we see that there were already a few data points with the 500, so it's pretty constant at the moment. And this will continue to come in to upload the data. On the screen now, you see both channels. On the right hand side, you see our serial port where the values are coming directly from the board over the USB cable. And on the left hand side, you see the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox, uh, which displays the uploaded content. So the right hand side should be slightly ahead of the left hand side because the data comes directly from the board whereas the left hand has to wait until the content is uploaded. This is how you use the Linky One board to read out sensor data and upload it to the MediaTek Cloud Sandbox over Wi-Fi. For more video tutorials like these, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and register at labs.mediatek.com for more technical content and our active developer forum. Thanks for watching.